Hello, hey, my name is back, and in this video, we're going to unlock all new mythical units in update 5 of Anime Defenders. For starts, make sure you support basic star code gamer nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my star code, I get paid. With the actors, slam, oh, they're yes. dancing forward. There's your slam, there's the dunk. Okay, so guys, how was your experience in update 5 of Anime Defenders? Were you happy? Are you disappointed? You know why disappointed? For me, the update is really good, but there are some problems, especially for those who's been playing the game and has unlocked lots of secrets. Because guys, when you're going to enter this new area, there you go, the Athenix Realm, you can only carry three units from the previous world. Okay? So let me show you out so there you go travel see guys you can only carry three units from this world okay previous update so you really need to choose wisely but don't worry in case you made a mistake and you can just go back to the previous world and then enter the Athenix realm and choose the units that you want okay there you go we are here at the Athenix Athenix uh, I don't know how to pronounce it some new features there you go the, the tether uh, what can you do here guys you can use the units here you can transport them or use them on the other dimensions so we have a new battle pass there you go here are the quests anyways guys our main goal here is to unlock the mythic units here right so we have three trials trial of zen trial of neptune and trial of regents so per trial guys you can unlock a new mythic unit so for example guys check this out trial of zen we have the Celestial Key Warrior. Again, that is Trial of Zen. Next up, the Trial of Neptune. There you go. We have the Gale Archer. For the units, guys, are legendary to rare or whatever. <laughs> They're the same. Okay? So last unit, guys, Shadow Conjurer for Trial of Regents. So guys, for every trial, you will be using other tokens. So that's a lot harder, right? <laughs> okay, so for our first story mode there you go we can get solar tokens so we can first unlock shadow conjurer so guys as you can see it's kind of easy at the start first boss is zeus there you go pretty easy but guys the problem or i mean the challenging thing about this update is that there are ground units and you can only hit them with your ground units or i think hill units i will tell you why later but guys as you notice, for my first three units, there are no ground units. They're all hybrid units. My secret here, either plus the other units. See that, guys? You cannot damage these units, even though they have low HP. But you cannot damage it, that is useless. But good thing, you can still grind the chapter one. They don't have a ground unit there until you grind lots of tokens to unlock our first mythic, okay? So for Shadow Conjure guys, it took me this guys. I grinded 1,640 tokens and I'm just gonna fast forward it, okay? There you go. So I spent 1,000 tokens until I unlock or summon our first mythic unit in this update. Where is he? There you go guys, Shadow Conjure. Go. It is a grind, ground, sorry grind. With that, we are done with our first Unit, next up guys, target is the Gale Archer. Why? Because guys, uh, next story mode or story is the Ruin City. So here you will be getting Aqua Tokens. So again, technique, just focus on the first chapter. And again, check this out. Took me, I think, 3,000 Aqua Tokens to get this Mythic Unit. So I'm kind of unlucky with this part. That's why I wasn't able to post this one on the first day of the update. Because again, it's not easy to get tokens. Also, if you're lucky, yeah, easy. So guys, there you go. Again, 3,000 tokens, that's a lot. And we got the Gale Archer, our second mythical unit. Heal type. Okay, next up, Celestial Key Warrior. So this is the chapter, I think this is the third chapter, right? Okay, there you go. And you will be getting tokens of flame here, flame tokens. 
So there you go guys, we were able to unlock it using, guys, not 1,900, okay? I grinded 1,995, but it only took me, I think, uh, 40 spins. Yeah, 40 spins, I guess. Which means that's like, uh, what do you call this? 80 times 4. <laughs> there you go guys, we got the Celestial Key Warrior. So it took me lots of hours to get this one, but the most important thing is I will be able to show it to you, showcase it, right? And for me, the best way to showcase it is play the infinite challenge. So let's head to the infinite challenge. There you go. And there you go. So for our first unit, guys, we got the Shadow Conjurer. What is the reference of this unit? What anime? I don't know. Okay, so we get the Shadow Stair. There you go. That is it. Looks pretty good for the range. So at upgrade 3, we get the Titanic Slash. Guys, check this out. It is a burn effect. It's really good. Don't mind the units at the left side. That's for money. Okay. There you go. Not bad. Okay, so let's upgrade this unit. Okay, so Titan Slash, right? I Titanic Slash, sorry. So guys, next up, at upgrade 6 or 7, we will be upgrading the skill to Fireball. Okay, Fireball Spell. Where is it? There you go. Again, there is still a burn effect, which is really good. For me, it's good. And this unit can also attack ground units. So now I can maybe start grinding the other stories. Go. Okay. So after this, Gamernam, is this the final attack of this unit? No. This unit still has other skills. And let's check it out. Upgrade 8. Okay. Upgrade 9. Okay, there you go, guys. So for the final skill, or attack of this one is the Dreamy Punishment. Okay, at upgrade 9 or 10. Dreamy Punishment, there you go. Remember Pain, guys. Pain from Naruto. Similar attack. Also, for those wondering, this unit has Arcane. Arcane Spirit. So, it will be bypassing the shield of the enemies. Okay, there you go. Final upgrade is upgrade 10 or 11. <laughs> I'm not sure of that. Yeah, it's upgraded 11, I think. And there you go. Max damage 2400. Again, I was not able to improve the traits yet of this unit. Plus, what call this? I forgot the other one. So next up, guys, let's showcase this one. The Gale Archer. So again, as you noticed, this is a heal unit. So you, you won't be able to like uh, deploy it anywhere you want. It should be in a high grind, right? So now, we have the arrow shot next up, arrow barrage. Go. So if you notice the damage, it's not as high as the first uh, unit, the Shadow Conjurer. But, hmm, I think the range is better. Also, the cooldown of the attacks, right? So next up, after arrow barrage is the arrow burst. Go. Okay. Yeah, the damage is not that high. And next up is the glowing arrow bombs. Again, compared to the previous unit, this one's cheaper. Also, you can deploy four. Okay, I won't be showing you that. Again, for the first one, Shadow Conjurer, you can only deploy three units. For this one, Sha Gale Archer, you can deploy four, four of them. I haven't tried five. I'm not sure if you you're permitted to deploy five but yeah i tried four and yeah i can say that you can drop four units next up is arrow combo i think is the last one upgrade eight. Oh, this, this is upgrade nine sorry guys he's still noob <laughs> there you go and for the damage it's i think maximum is 12k 12 to 40 for my unit okay i know that you can increase the damage by getting almighty, etc. There you go, guys. 12k max damage. Okay. That is Gale Archer, right? So, guys, moving on. For our last unit. Mythical unit of the story mode. We got this one, guys. Celestial Key Warrior. So first attack, we got the blue scorching energy blast. Okay, so this this one, uh, 
I can sense Dragon Ball reference. Not not the character, okay? The way it hits. There you go. That is that is the next skill. Boom. You see the guys? Energy bomb or energy key? Energy beam blast is next. Check that out, guys. Kamehameha wave or Hadouken. It looks more like a Kamehameha. Go. And next up is the huge energy beam blast. Guys, for me, they should have included the uh, Genki Dama, right? The Spirit Ball. That should be a lot better. So, huge energy beam blast. Wait for it. This one looks great. There you go. The Kamehameha. Copyright. <laughs> Every day use that term. Okay, so this one's the huge energy beam blast. Wait, let me see it. There you go. Oh, it's the same, right? Yeah, it's the same, guys. But a lot faster. And last skill is the aura pressure at upgrade 10. Guys, check this out, guys. This one's really good. There you go. See that? Wow. Also, guys, if you compare the damage, this one has the highest damage output. Again, guys, raw. So maybe if you just change the traits, etc. It really depends. Maybe I'll try to evolve these units too. <laughs> Anyways, my target on my next video, I will try to unlock the secrets. So, lots and lots of token grinding out there. Hopefully, I get one. Okay guys, so I think that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'll be posting anime uh, simulator videos soon. Plus, I will be grinding tokens on this one. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this one. Also, don't worry, I will be posting blocks of videos the moment that the update release. So again, I hope that you enjoyed this one. And to all the viewers, subscribe supporters. To mga Pilipino guys, take care and pause. This is Gamer Nom. See you in my next video. Bye bye.